Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex, and the topic for this video is uh, tantric sex shadows and how to protect yourself. This is, you know, the tantric sex space is experimental. It means that we are still trying to figure, figure it out as a human race. The tradition is not like something that is super solid and clear. Many schools out there are teaching things and they are not necessarily applying what they're teaching or they might be, uh, you know, out of integrity or some students might uh, try something and then get a little bit hurt and then step out and you know so there is something which is a little bit floating there like about any aspect or any area of life no matter where you go on this planet uh, you know the planet is a vast experiment and we are all learning together as human race there is no path out there which is 100% uh, secure where there are no risks or no no dangers or no shadows at all uh, we as human beings are made of lights and shadows and it's like the yin and yang symbol that, that goes in circle. Um, there is a light in uh, every shadow and there is a shadow in every light. Uh, it means that well, what I'm talking about here, the, the tantric sex uh, experience, is a, is a space where there is lots of mystery and there is lots of possibilities for, for um, experiences that might be challenging, like in any other aspect of life. If you decide to go and climb uh, the Everest or engage into any form of travel, any form of exploration, you are going to be exposed to uh, various uh, experiences. And uh, the tantric sex experience, I'm not going to lie you about it, it's like there are shadows in there because we are human beings. And so we are trying to figure it out still and optimize uh, that space. You know, what I'm teaching here uh, within within what I'm what I'm promoting or what I'm doing is trying to create a space which is as safe as possible with guidelines that are extremely precise and and uh, you know creating safety and creating comfort so that everybody's having a great time is uh, my top priority but you might be exposed to things out there that call themselves tantric sex or tantra and that might be might be challenging so I want to point out right here a few um, you know some of those pitfalls or some of those uh, challenges that you might face and also give you some tactics and strategies to uh, to deal with them so the first uh, big challenge the first big um, yeah shadow that you might face is everything that has to do with mono duo and poly uh, choices so what I mean by that is that you can be single and activate your tantric sex energy by yourself that's you as a person then you have the couple situation that I, I call that duo amory uh, and when you are in a duo situation which is a couple situation then very often there might be situations where there might be cheating episodes there might be uh, emotional or energetic betrayal so different different things like that and then you have the poly situation which is basically that you are uh, open sexually to the idea of sharing love and sex with uh, various partners so here is what tends to happen very often you what i what i i'm seeing is that sometimes people say they are dual it means that they say that they want to be in a committed relationship but then in their behaviors and the way they they express themselves they're going to be extremely sexually open to other people and uh, so there is a, a little bit of a sense of clarity there the reason very often why somebody might say, well, I want to be in a committed relationship is because they are afraid if uh, their partner goes and, and, and is uh, in an open relationship context. So I see there that there are, there are double standards. I see uh, people either openly lying about their intentions or being out of integrity or being out of respect and uh, entering into betrayal patterns. So this is one of the, I would say one of the, the core uh, challenge that you might face and especially in the early stages when you're starting to date and entering into a tantric relationship with somebody and uh, Either you or the other person doesn't want to be fully committed very often that can create uh, tension and uh, What is important is to be extremely clear, you know, are you poly? What is your intention? Do you want to be in a committed relationship? And if you say that you want to be in a committed relationship behave in ways that reflect that that intention don't you know don't basically uh, mess up or lie or betray your partner um, but of course you know it's a shadow and uh, this shadow this specific shadow of cheating or being out of integrity is very present in in, in society in multiple ways um, 
it's a vast topic. We'll come back to this one because it's it's something. There are specific strategies and ways of communicating that will strengthen the tantric space and uh, give you a sense of security and comfort when it comes to that. Um, another shadow is preaching. <laughs> you know, preaching means that you believe that what you are doing is the absolute best path and everybody has to do exactly what you're doing with the exact same techniques and that other people are teaching stuff that is not the right way and that I am teaching the right way and, and so on. It's like, come on, give me a break. <laughs> give, me a, give me a break. Uh, are we still playing on that level as human race? The key word here is respect. Just teach something or promote something or do something that you enjoy doing for yourself and for other people. If other people respond to what you have to say, that's great. There is no need to create uh, you know, a hierarchy of, uh, of what is better and, than, than anything else. No, it's like we are all in this field as a human race and uh, we are all more or less on the same level. You know, aliens would look at us and they would see a bunch of tiny little beings. They are playing on the surface of the planet and they would not necessarily see much difference between one and the other person. So we are on the same level. We are, have some similar levels of intelligence. Some people are a bit more emotionally intelligent. Some people are a bit more skilled with the head. Uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> respect, respect. If you disagree with a certain teaching, just don't practice it. And uh, if you like another teaching, go and em embody and embed that and let other people make their own choices. It's okay to communicate in ways that are open, you know, for instance, what I'm suggesting in these videos. It's not, uh, it's not a doctrine. It's a set of qualities and values that you can start applying in your life if it's a good match for you. If it's not, uh, go and find another teaching that is a good match for you. So there is absolutely no forceful intention behind that. It's not like what I'm saying here. Uh, needs to apply to absolutely everybody on this planet. So relax with it. That's another shadow, is the idea of um, you know, preaching and the solution for that one. Respect, be open. You know, it looks like we disagree on that and that's all right. We are two human beings with a different set of life experiences. It's okay to disagree. It's not a deal breaker. It doesn't make, make me your enemy or make you my enemy. We can be friends and disagree on certain topics. It's okay. So that's respect. Another big uh, uh, shadow that you can face is emotional disconnection. Um, you know, when you have a lover and you really connect deeply, internally, emotionally, sexually, and you open each other, uh, it's important to stay connected, to create a partnership that is actually sustainable. So my personal way of relating to that is that I never disconnect. I never cut somebody out of my life unless somebody becomes seriously emotionally or physically abusive then yes I will have to protect myself but otherwise the idea is this one it is that we engage into building relationships and connections and the goal here is to keep on nurturing them uh, letting them mature and evolve in their own way but not to disconnect so disconnect means that um, somebody sends you a message and you just had sex and you don't answer, you don't reply, you ignore them, you don't say hi when you see them again. Lots of people out there in the tantric field are complaining about that because, um, you know, we shared something precious. Don't disconnect. Keep, stay connected. And if you, are, if you feel like you are going to disconnect, then, to, then uh, maybe don't engage in the first place, you know. What I mean by that is that it's okay to say to somebody, you know what, I have the feeling that we are not a good match and I want to explore other options with other people and I found another lover that I just met in one of my trips there in, a, in, a, in another part of the world and it's okay to, to say that, it's okay to take energetic or emotional distance but the, the feeling of disconnection that happens when you know two people had sex and then they, one of them pretends that they don't even know each other um, that's a shadow, that's something that can be really hurtful. Another um, shadow here, this one is a little bit uh, taboo, not too much talked about, it's all the STDs, all about feeling safe when it comes to health and not doing anything that puts your, your life or health in danger. So this is another set of uh, very specific tactics and strategies that you can apply when you are in the tantric sex because we are dealing with sexual energy we are there dealing with sometimes sharing fluids and penetration and all sorts of practices that might be a little bit challenging if you don't know the, the guidelines or how to protect yourself so i will probably record another set of videos on just that topic on what to do with all that so that everybody feels really really safe but for now uh you know 
it's like things to remember is communicate, communicate openly about about whatever is going on there, and uh, and protect yourself. Practice safe sex, basically. Um, Another shadow that can emerge is communication gap. What does that mean? It means that you're experiencing something and you're not sharing what's going on. And uh, if you don't share, you know, if you don't vocalize, your partner or your lover might be totally misunderstanding the signals that you're giving them. And so communication is a, an essential aspect. You know, we are good at uh, developing now some uh, awesome uh, telepathic abilities, you know, as a human race, I think, we are becoming better at that. We, we know how to feel situations and, and experience uh, a lot on that level, but we didn't master yet the ability to read minds, okay? We don't have it yet altogether, so don't assume that somebody knows what's going on when you didn't vocalize what's going on. So if you have feelings coming up, emotions, tensions, whatever is going on there, communicate, bring it out to the surface so that everybody can actually see it people who are concerned by what's going on for you. Um, yeah, another shadow which has to do with what I mentioned earlier with emotional disconnection. This one is softer, but uh, it's um, the, the lack of nurturing space. You know, Tantric sex is not a sport, okay? Even though it can look like it, sometimes sex, sex, you look at it and it looks like a very dynamic physical thing, but uh, it's based on love. Lots of qualities need to come in there. And uh, personally, I really enjoy entering into a romantic space with somebody, being there, taking time to love each other, nurture each other, make food for each other, take care of each other's bodies, you know, being in this space which is really nurturing and loving and caring. And, um, so that's something to, uh, to, to watch and to look for. Uh, the fact that you just got a really beautiful session, tantric sex session with somebody, just take time to nurture that. Uh, send them a message afterwards. Thank you. I love spending this time with you. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. Uh, I would be happy to do that again in the future with you. So when you send these kind of messages, what it tells is that care, caring. We are human beings. Care for each other. This is a... Uh, the, the answer to the potential uh, energetic uh, disconnection and the nurturing gap that you might experience, care for each other. So rather than covering again all the, the shadows, uh, I'm going to give you the, the qualities, the lights that correspond to them so that you can start practicing those once more. Respect, clarity, connection, love and care. Practice them. They are very important. We want to have a good time with all that, right? 